you guys doing a sip here we have a quick PS2016 tip video the best grip playing PS2016 on PS4 or Xbox 360 or PS3 it's kind of a same thing there exactly it's, it's all about the grip uh, probably on Xbox 360 or Xbox one will vary um, but um, this is particularly for PS4 so this is the PS4 controller as you can see um, you have different grips guys I mean right now when I play this is how I play you know you know, left stick, right stick, shoot pass, etc. But these two fingers goes under it. So if I want to do a manual shot, I have to do this. It will take like maybe a second to do this. Or if I want to uh, do a close control, if I want to do a close control, it will take a split second to do this. This grip is a standard grip that a lot of people do use. I'm actually practicing to do this. This is the perfect grip for playing pets. And I have been a D-pad user for a very long time. Now I switch to the left stick because after Data Pack 3, um, dribbling the combination between your right stick and left stick is beautiful. You know, when you're actually stationary and you do a sudden burst of um, speed or a sudden change of direction or you do a dip and dribble, you know, when the ball kind of... I mean, in real life as a footballer, I remember every time when a player was coming to me, if I want to put the ball aside, I would kind of dip it. So if he puts his leg out, it will go over his leg. Stuff like that, you know, in real life, same thing in football. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, if you manage to master this grip, I'm talking about those two fingers, ignore here. Just those two fingers, because standard grip is this. This is how you hold the controller. But if you can manage this grip, which shows like this, I mean, we have the claw grip on Black Ops or whatever, but, um, you know, do the drop shot and etc. But if you can manage this grip, guys, you'll be the master, okay? Why? Because you run, it's like it's like driving a car. You have to train your brain first and then implement on the controller. Basically, you run and then this is um, close control. And what this uh, what, what R2 does is, every time you run, you hold this, you let go of R1, you do a sudden um, pace change. Imagine you're two strikers running. You're running on full pace, the defender is chasing you. When you do a sudden stop, a roll back, or roll sideways, See you later, defender, and you can smoke him. You basically trick defenders. You run an awful speed. You stop. The defender stops, and you but and you don't. <laughs> All right, let me explain this. Two players running. You the striker. He's the defender. Both running on full speed. You're gonna make a full stop. The defender will stop, and then by the time the defender trying to catch up with you, you do a burst of speed. So basically, the idea is that you accelerate, stop, accelerate, stop, just like driving a car. And it's really important, especially if you do the close control um, with the R2 button, you know, you can roll back, you can roll, roll the ball backward, you can roll the, roll the ball sideways, uh, you can do the jinkin run. The jinkin run is very simple. Basically, you hold R2 and then you use the left stick to move left and right. And then when the player comes at you, you do a burst of speed with the direction together. Um, these are things I'll probably show you live in the stream when I stream. Um, as you can see some footage in the background as well uh, but the reason why I'm, I'm zooming this in so you can guys see it so tell me guys how many of you are a standard grip where you put your fingers under uh, those two and how many of you are this kind of grip I don't know what to call it double finger maybe the, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call it um, a lot of people like um, there are like scuff controllers as well imagine if you had certain buttons like I know for black ops and call of duty um, they have they use scuff basically there's two buttons here you can actually change any any of these buttons could be under here that's what scuff is it's pretty expensive and is uh it'll give you a massive advantage but i don't think that would be a use for piss or maybe not however if you go to your ps4 accessories and then select your controller you can customize it there who the heck needs scuff anyway so guys, this just wanted to give you this tip. I mean, I know the Portuguese champion Noti does use this grip because if you watch how this guy plays, is that his fingers are all those two because you need everything, guys. Some people think other games are hard. You simply need every button when you play PES or FIFA. You have your shoot, cross, pass, through ball. You have your pace, close control or rule back. You have your cursor changing. You have your manual shot. You have your uh, skills. You have your movement. You literally use every single button. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten buttons. Man, brain. Human brain. It's awesome. Anyway, so first of all, you need to train your brain. Don't just go online and say, I'm going to do this. No. Go to free training, try it, and then beast it out online. 
Now you're probably thinking, hey man, I'm just a standard grip. Who the fuck needs this bullshit when you can just press L1 and triangle, you know? You, you, you probably, you could be right, but for the short term, who knows what PES 2017 is going to be like. What would happen if those guys who are so used to the OP long balls in PES, when a new PES comes out, is it slower, it's based on dribbling, it's based on build-up, what happens when these long balls is patched? What are you going to do? So the reason why I'm giving you this tip to master the dribbling, to become less predictable, to be flexible, Wherever changes happen, you're going to quickly adapt to any change that happens. A lot of people thinking, oh man, I hate this data pack, is, is you know, uh, I can't play, I hate pairs, bring back pairs. No, you have to be adaptable because with every data pack, gameplay will change. I will have in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the gameplay changes, online gameplay changes after data pack 3. So comment, comment down below and let me know guys, what kind of grip are you? For me, I'm a standard grip, but I've been practicing this because I have a massive advantage. Right now, when you use pass support two or three, manual shorten is really important. So you really do need that. You run in, you make a full stop. You can actually make a full stop while you're running with R1. You could press R1 once, you can make a full stop. But the reason why I'm saying you need the R2, you can roll the ball back, holding R2 with the left stick, you can roll the ball back sideways and then do a speed burst or a jink and run as i said jink and run can be done by holding r2 and move with the left stick and then while you're holding r2 you basically double tap r1 that's where a jink and run is and when you double tap r1 you have to make a move basically if i want to do a jink and run i'm going to move, move my hand here so you can just see uh, what i do while i do a jink and run i'm holding r2 right i'm holding r2 and moving i'm moving left if a player comes at me if a player comes at me i'm basically going to do Double tap R1 and left stick change. So I'm going sideways. The player is coming at me slowly. As soon as he comes at me, I just burst to the other side. It's like fake leg go, fake left go right, fake fake right go left. Excession, excession. What are you doing, cat? You see this cat, man? From all these places. Anyway, guys. So uh, yeah, in the next episode, I have more videos upcoming. Um, I'll have videos about my club. You know, I have some best formation and tactic for online divisions. I have some collaboration with the midnight kid and the true brit i have some uh, my club videos as well i will get these videos done as usual i c i will upload as much as i could because i don't make a living out of youtube you know i um upload whenever i can basically anyway well so far thank you all for your support guys if you enjoyed this tip make sure to check out my other videos any question you ask regarding pez i have a video about it i'll be sep till next time ciao for now